Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and a new collective haul. Um, this is going to be part two of my January collective haul. Um, stay tuned if you want to see everything that I got in all of these albums and see other stuff that I've gotten uh, throughout the rest of January. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this video. Shopping with my friends today and um, at a bunch of K-pop shops that are here locally. And as you can see, I got quite a bit of things. I have already opened up with my friends because, of course, we wanted to um, look at everyone's pulls. But um, I will quickly show you everything I got. So let me get everything out. Okay, guys, I have pulled everything out of the sacks. And as you can see, I got a lot of stuff. But let me show you the small things that I got that are not necessarily photo cards, but they are K-pop related and they're super cute. Um, so yeah, uh, starting off, I got this, um, technically I got two rolls of washi tape for Stray Kids. This one is going to be the Dome Tour related tape. Hopefully y'all can see kind of a preview of what it looks like. And then I got a Rockstar one. And here's what it looks like. So can't wait to use that for some trades in the future. And then I got this little keychain. A lot of the... This was not necessary, to be honest, but I saw it and I was like, oh, it's so cute. And it says Rockstar and Stray Kids and got that. And then I got another keychain, like I said, also not necessary, but it was cute and it was cheap and I really liked it. So I got it, but it says, oops. I haven't pulled the plastic off of this one yet, but it says Hyunjin, and then there's this photo of him in his Jinirette little mascot suit. So uh, those are the smaller items I got. Like I said, they were just really cute, and so I had to get them, but yeah. Uh, let me move all of this to the side, and then we can start opening up. Okay, so we're going to start with um, the album. <laughs> of a group that I have never bought anything for before, uh, which is Zero Base One. Um, and to be honest, I don't even really know much about the group. <laughs> it was just kind of a funny buy. Um, I know a couple of the members, one of them being uh, Ricky. And, <laughs> and me and my friends have this running joke about like, you know, uh, it's meant to be that Ricky needs to be my bias. And I'm like, I don't even really listen to Zero Base One. Um, the only member I really know is Jung. And I would say that would be who my bias is. Um, but yeah, my friends, they think that, you know... They think it's funny uh, to, you know, tease me about Ricky being my bias. And I'm like, Ricky's not my bias. I don't even really know much about him. But uh, we were walking in our K-pop store and they were like, oh my goodness, here's a Zero Base One. I was like, you know what? I should buy one. I was like, and watch me pull Ricky. And they were like, oh my gosh, you should definitely do it. Um, I didn't know anything about the uh, versions of the album or anything like that. I just saw this one. I loved how it looked, how it looked sleek, and so I bought it. Um, so, yeah, I apologize. I don't really know much about the group, like I said, nor the members' names. Um, but, yeah, maybe y'all can tell me down below who my pulls are. I do, I do know who this is. This is uh, Galuk, right? Is that how you say it? I believe this is who this is. If I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me. Um, he's quite beautiful. But yeah, I, I also do, do know. Uh, <laughs> I just laugh that it has like all of their like full like government names here. And then it just says 
Ricky. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I have to laugh about that. Um, I am familiar, like I said, Jung, uh, Matthew, Tay Ray a little bit. My friend likes Tay Ray. And then Ricky, obviously. And then Ganook. But yeah, this was really cute. And I thought this was kind of genius, you know, a way to like display this album, I guess. I don't know if y'all can tell how that's like sits up. I don't know. But I thought that was cute. Um, on to like my actual pulls. Um, oh gosh, I didn't even notice this earlier <laughs> when I unboxed it. It came with a little keychain that says ZB1 on it. Cute. Um, then the poster, doing a little unboxing because, like I said, this is my first time buying an album for ZB1. Oh, there's June. And, you know, I feel like Ricky's a pretty popular member. Um, like I said, he's not what I would consider my bias if I was going to have a bias at BG, but, uh, Anyways, so here's, like I said, the problem. I don't know who, <laughs> I don't really know my photo card pulls for the most part. Um, so feel free to let me know who I pulled down below. They are super cute though. Real cuties, I would say. Um, but I just, I'm not very familiar enough with their faces. Even the ones that I know their name and I've seen like maybe TikToks of them or stuff on Twitter. Um, I couldn't point them out minus Ricky and June. Those are the two that I could really point out. Uh, this though is um, Tayre. Yeah. Which makes me believe this is also Tayre. Because they look like the same person. I believe that would be right. I could be wrong. I should ask my friend. She would know. But that was my pulls for this first album. Um, super cute. Now, like I said, we were just kind of browsing my K-pop store when I picked this out to buy. This was the first uh, album that I picked up from ZB1. However, let me lay these out. However, the first album that I opened from ZB1 was this June uh, little digipack. Super cute. I really loved the CD. I like how that has their picture on it. Um, now I went into this completely unaware. I was like, is this going to be random photo cards? Is there photo cards? You know, Cause like I said, I don't stand, uh, ZB1. So I didn't know what came in this. Uh, this was just a, a fun buy. I don't even know what these are. To be honest. But. This is that, that, that came in there. And then we have the little photo book. Yeah, like I said, just doing a little unboxing because this was a fun little buy for me. He's so, so cute. Um, I knew him before Boys Planet, um... And so that's why immediately he kind of caught my attention when, you know, Boys Planet came out and also when ZB1 was decided who was going to be in it. Um, but yeah. Which is why I said I would believe he would be my bias because of that simple fact. But <laughs> I don't know. I may need to get to know them more before I say that. And say that that's a definite decision but he's definitely at the top of my list um and then it also came with these hand-drawn stickers one from each member this is kind of terrifying this right here 
not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that. And then my two photo card pulls because it came with two photo cards. So this one says it's cookies and cream Matthew time. So I automatically know right now that I pulled Matthew. He is adorable. And then if you're a ZB1 fan, you may know just from the signature who I pulled. This was my first ZB1 photo card pull after my friends already gave me heck about possibly pulling him. Ricky. <laughs> uh he just looks unreal just that's not a bad thing either I guess um but yeah unreal but yeah so my first photo card pull was Ricky maybe that's supposed to be a sign that he is supposed to be my bias but we'll see um I may look more into ZB1 but we'll see but that was it for a uh, ZB1. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really love this album. I would like to buy the other versions of this album just to see what they look like. Uh, but that was, those were, that was fun. I enjoy opening albums for groups that I don't really know the members of because it makes it an experience, you know? Sometimes I feel like I do the same old, same old with the groups that I like, but that was, that was fun. While I was out, I also picked up two more AT's albums. I do not have either of these. I do have Fever Part 3, but the blue version of it, and then I do not have Fever Part 2. So, let's start with my pulls for Fever Part 3. I got... You know, and Jong Ho. I feel like I pull a lot of these two members. I mean, not complaining, but that's what I feel. And then it also came with stickers. Cute. And posters I mean yeah mini posters I guess is what you could call these oh wow that's beautiful cutie also cutie <laughs> and Jong Ho and that's it super cute. Then I picked up, like I said, Fever Part 2. This is my favorite, first Fever Part 2 album that I bought. <gasps> Finally. And I pulled Usan. Both in my bias line, so I really enjoy that. Cute photo book this and more postcards well stickers and then oh these are backwards but that's okay Jongho Ouyang oh my goodness I did not look through these earlier. <laughs> I looked at the photo book. I didn't look through the postcard, uh, the posters earlier. Oh my goodness. Nothing could have prepared me for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was not prepared for that. Uh, clearly. Um, oh yeah. This is what Mingy wasn't there. That makes me sad now. <laughs> I was like, why is Son the next one? Okay, uh, enjoy everyone. Uh, and then your song, you know, wow. Oh, wow. 
this Sunwa is beautiful. And then Hongjun and the seven members. <laughs> These seven members. <laughs> Wow, these are some of my favorites so far. Mine is the fact that Mengi's not there because that actually is very saddening to me. But, wow. Okay, so that was all the ATs that I got today at the shops. Let's look at the last bit of items that I got, which is from Stray Kids. Listen, guys, I got a lot here. I have no excuses. Um, <laughs> uh, but as y'all know, I collect OT8, and so every time I go to the shops, I pick up some albums. Today, I went overboard picking up some albums. I just was in a very, um, retail therapy mindset, so yeah, that's why I bought so much, but it was worth it, I would say. Okay, so we'll start with the smallest one, which is this Ordinary Jewel Case, I have all the actual covers for the jewel cases for each of the members, uh, but I am missing one jewel case photo card, and that is Felix's. Um, and sadly, I still didn't pull him today. I pulled, um, I pulled John instead. Uh, not complaining. I love this photo card. So if I could find Felix's without trading this away, I would probably just keep this for my personal collection of duplicates because I love that photo card. Um, but yeah, that was up. Then I got an eye of you. And I actually did get some good pulls from this. I got this Lino, which I did need. And then I got this unit PC. Oh, this one's so cute. And I also needed that. And then for this, I got um, Ian. I don't need his, so I'll eventually put him up for trade. Then I picked up a Moreau album, and I technically picked up two Moreau albums, and both of them gave me duplicates. So these are my duplicates. I got this duplicate Chan, this duplicate Chan, this duplicate Ian, and this duplicate Han. So all of these will eventually be posted on my Instagram for trade. And then I pulled these two, which were not duplicates, this Sigmund and this Lino. So those were good pulls. And then I picked up an I Am Who album. And also got good pulls. Uh, I got this Lino mini poster, which I'm not sure I have. I'll have to look. I'm really not sure what I have from I Am Who. And then I got Changmin, which I did not have that. And then I also did not have this Felix. And then this is Han's little self-drawn, self-illustration. I do have this, but that's okay. And then I picked up a Yellowwood album. And I was most excited about these pulls. I got Hyunjin. <laughs> I already have this. Uh, but y'all know I keep a book of duplicates. So maybe keeping him as a duplicate. Then I got this cute Sungmin. And this cute Hyunjin. And this is the last yellow wood photo card I needed for Hyunjin to complete my Hyunjin yellow wood uh set so he's now complete for yellow wood and this was a duplicate too but oh, he's so cute so man as a baby love it and then i picked up two mixtape albums and these photo card pulls kind of made me sad and i will show you why 
So I got these two and they're super cute. I already have these. Uh, so these will be up for trade eventually. And then I got these two, this Chun and this Ayin, and I need both of them. And I was so excited. But look at this this is like i don't know if you can tell it is like raised damage on the photo card but at least it's not on the front so this one's fine i can live with that and then there's this one and i don't know if y'all can see but it literally has a line all the way down the front of the photo card straight through his face and so, yeah, I'm so, so, so upset about this one. I don't know what happened. I haven't really gotten a, a mixtape album that has had, you know, damaged PCs like this. So, anyways. So, yeah, that was disappointing, but it is what it is. But that's all the normal album pulls that I got. And then I also went... One of the shops that I was at was selling some Rockstar Pobs. Okay. And so then I picked up these two photo cards. Um, this Felix and this Han. Um, I originally bought this Felix thinking it was his Blue Dream Media. And it's not. It's his JYP shop, just like Han's is the JYP shop. And I already have Felix's JYP shop, so that will be up for trade eventually on my Instagram. Uh, but the Han, I did need, and ugh, it's so cute. But dadgummit, I can't believe I bought, and I'm just now realizing that this is the JYP shop one. Ugh. But anyways, that is okay. Uh, I will be fine. But Anyways, that is it from this, uh, you know, weekend haul. I have lots, a few things that should be arriving in the mail this next week. So you'll see those in the next few clips. Uh, see you in the next one. All right, everyone. We're here with my first clip for this um, collective haul video. Um, it has this cute Sungmin sticker on it, if that gives you any indication as to what's inside. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. Cute. This was a trade from Instagram, like I mentioned, um, and I traded my duplicate uh, Lino for Sungmin, because I do not have him. So now I am just missing one headliner version. And it just so happens to be, um, oh. it just so happens to be Hyunjin's that I am still in need of, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> There he is. Cute, cute, cute. Did get some freebies, so let's look at them. I love freebies, by the way. If you send me freebies, um, I will cherish them. I love them. I actually have a, a binder that has um, some of my favorite freebies in it. Some of them I put in a basket and I do end up, you know, um, sending to other people. Um, but most of them I keep and put in a little um, freebie binder. So yeah, came with some stickers. Cute! <laughs> little Han sticker. Oh, baby. 
Oh my gosh, and they sent me some of the uh, mailing stickers. How stinking cute. And some thank you stickers. And then some little freebies. I love. But that is it for this trade. Um, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, guys, we are back with another clip. Um, I just checked the mail and I had a couple of things in it from Instagram. So, um, one should be a group order and the other is just a purchase from Instagram. But let's go ahead and see what I got. I'll start with this. Uh, this, I believe, is... Um, the purchase that I got, um, which I'm super excited about. Um, as y'all know, I'm a Hyunjin collector for Pops, and um, I didn't really start collecting Pops until my accident, so I'm currently working on, um, you know, going back and getting all of the older um, Pops that I missed um from older eras and so um this helps me with it this purchase right here um trying to make sure i don't accidentally cut into it uh, that would be devastating for me <laughs> um but yeah uh this right here i was super excited to uh oh cute I was super excited to find a seller on Instagram that was selling these two pobs for the price that they were because um, they're usually always overpriced. Um, and so I to find them at a decent deal um, was exciting. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Oh, well, of course they're hidden up. <laughs> uh, but it says, thank you so much for buying for me. I hope you can generate safely. This is the uh, person I bought from. <laughs> you can always see a preview. Um, I always like to go over the freebies. I love when I get freebies. By the way, this washi tape is super cute. I love getting freebies um, with you know, things that I buy or people I trade with. It just, I don't know, it's fun. But I get it. Freebies are not for everyone. A lot of people don't like freebies. I mean, to each their own. Um, little stickers. Oh, my goodness. I love this sticker. This will be going in my sticker book. Cutie Hyunjin. Oh, I love him. So yeah, those are the freebies on to the actual items that I purchased, which like I said, I'm already dying just seeing them. Oh, right here. Oh my gosh, cinnamon roll. <laughs> Here they are. I got Hyunjin's Ordinary Soundwave Lucky Draw. I'm pretty sure it's Soundwave Lucky Draw. Um, the PVCs. Sorry, I know that annoys people sometimes when people throw the cards like that. But uh, they are beautiful. I see why so many people are crazy about these cards because um, he looks incredible. The hairstyle, the hair color, the outfit, he just looks insanely good. So I'm so happy to have these. <laughs> uh, so, so very, very happy to have these cards in my collection now. Let's open the other ones. Now this is the group order. I love the sticker. 
that was used. I believe the gum actually made the stickers herself. I believe. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I think she does. Um, but. I think that's just cardboard. I'm sure I got everything. Thank you for joining my go. Let me know when this arrives to you safely. Stay tiny in 23. Um, I've joined a couple of their goes before and um, always enjoyed it. So it's been a good experience. So if you're ever looking for um, ATs or uh, Stray Kids goes, check them out. Um, get a little Stray Kids sticker. I was like, is this taped over? Now, this is going to be from one of my Rockstar goes. I believe it is the pop-up round one set. Ooh, PT backs. And it is. OMG. These cards are beautiful. Oh my goodness. I just really enjoyed uh, Hyunjin styling from the Skiz Flicks, and that's what these outfits are from. Are from Skiz Flicks. But yeah. I'm curious as to why they did the backing like this way, like landscape when the card is not landscape, but anyways, uh, well, that is all for, um, you know, things I got in the mail. Um, I'm super excited. These are both really exciting items to add to my collection. So yeah, um, that is all for this clip. I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, I am back with another clip. And yes, if you're curious, I am a little under the weather. So please excuse my voice for this clip. Um, and maybe more clips after this. It depends on what else I have coming in. But I am a little under the weather. Uh, but I did get a few things in the mail from group orders and trades. And so I wanted to go ahead and quickly open those up. Um one of them has already been pre-opened due to the fact that I had to, I received it a couple days ago and had nothing else. And so I went ahead and opened it up so that I could send proof uh, to the person I traded with. Uh, but everything else, uh, this has already been pre-cut, but I haven't opened it. Uh, but everything else is something that I just got today and I'm opening up. So... Let's get into it. Starting with the um, trade that I got in the mail the other day that I already opened up. It was Ooyang. So I traded with and I traded her um, Yosong's like stand up postcard um, photo card. Um, and got Uyung's in return. I love when people like send you stuff, do this with the tape because I have really bad hands. And so that really helps me out like a thousand times to do that. So anyways, here is the card and it is a little pop up, but I am not popping it out, but that is it. On to the next. Now this trade, I just got in the mail. I did go ahead and cut it open so that it'd be easier for me to get out. I traded with someone on Instagram um, and this is my last uh, PC that I need for Rockstar. And funny enough, 
<laughs> it is Hyunjin. Um, but yeah, that is who I traded with. Very easy trade. And then I got a cute little freebie. Ooh, all sparkly. I love this. I will be keeping this in my little freebie thing. Um, note card. And then... Oh, I love the washi tape. It's Stray Kids washi tape. Anyways, like I said, this is the last PC I needed to complete my um, photo cards for Rockstar. And yeah, like I said, I'm totally laughing that it was uh, a Hyunjin PC, uh, considering he is my um, bias. Like I said, I'm really bad with tape, so it takes me sometimes forever to get tape off photo cards. I try, though, okay? But it is his headliner PC, and he looks so good. I love this photo card, and I'm laughing that it took me so long to get it because, like I said, um, it's the last one I need. But that is that one. Thank you so much for trading with me. Um, now we move on to my two group orders that I got. And I'll start with this one. It's the bigger one. But um, it actually has to do with Rockstar. So that's why I'm going to do this one first. Um, so like I just said, I finished all of my Rockstar album PCs. But... I still have some of the little Nemo's albums ornaments that I have not gotten. I still haven't decided. All when I open this, it'll decide if I'm gonna end up collecting all eight, but I haven't fully decided. We'll see. But I joined this group order for um, these. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, like I said, I joined the group order for the pobs, but we'll open those last. We'll start with these. Nemo's albums. I am assuming that these are sorted, but I have no idea. Um, I'd be okay if they weren't random. Here's these. I already have these because I already have some Nemo albums. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming these aren't random, but there's Lino's because he's one of the people I got in my, for the palm. Oh, no, this is random. Um, we got Soongman. I don't have him. Cute. Chani. I already have his as well. Um, but that was that. Here are the pobs. I really hope <laughs> all four members that I was supposed to get are in here. Oh, we do have four lenticular holders. So we have Felix's, Hans, Hyunjin, and Lino. We have Lino. And it just says Stray Kids, Rockstar, Hyunjin, Honey, and Felix. And I saw someone store these in their binder. Um, let me find his. 
I saw someone store these in their binder like this. And I was like, that's actually kind of genius because the front and the back's cute. Um, but I would sleeve this before storing it inside of this in my binder. But I do like it like that. Um, but yeah, that is it for the um, Nemo's albums. Now I've got one more thing from this group order manager. Um, so this is the Go Manager. If you're a stay, you probably are familiar with them because they're a very huge uh, like group order manager team on Instagram. Um, they are really great. I, If I'm able to join any group orders of theirs, I definitely try because, oh my gosh, I just realized what the tape was. <laughs> that is so cute. I'm obsessed. Here is the other side. Um, it took me a whole beat to realize <laughs> the tape. Um, oh boy. Let's hope I can get this off. Anyways, if they open a group order, I literally try to comment as fast as I possibly can. Here's this tape. Because I just like how their group orders are ran. They're always done so smoothly and... Um, I feel like they do a good job of updating, you know, their joiners and all that. So, yeah, highly, highly recommend. Oh, what? What? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even, I was like, what the heck? I didn't know it came with two things. It does. Here's the Hyunjin photo card. Ooh. He looks so cute with his stray hairs over here. <laughs> and then, this is his HMV, by the way. And then I guess this came with it. I don't honestly know, to be quite fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is all from this group order manager. Thank you so much. On to the last item that I got in the mail today um, and something that I am super duper excited about. Um, I was really super excited to get this in the mail. Um, and also get it on Instagram at the time it dropped because I don't know. I was just excited for it. Uh, so as y'all know, for the New Year's NBC Gaio, you know, performance, Hyunjin had a little solo moment with Yeji. Um, it was incredible. And for every fan that attended, they got a broadcast card. They got it for also like the group performance and um, the dance racha performance but also for the solo part and <laughs> I was like I really want a photo card again with the nice packaging um I was like you know what I think it'd be so cool to get the broadcast card from that because you know I you know him didn't play with fire really was like meaningful to me as you know so I got the NBC Gaio um, broadcast card for that performance. There was a translation of this online. I just forgot what it says. And then here's the card. He looks so cute. I love it. Here was the gum. Also runs things very efficiently. Got it to me quick and safe. So really enjoyed that, but yeah. All right guys, so that was it for everything that I received in the mail today. Um, I'm super excited for um, so many reasons, you know, getting some group orders in the mail, love that. Finishing my Rockstar PCs, also very obsessed, and getting my first little broadcast photo card of Hyunjin. Um, I don't know that I will pursue getting any more. 
Um, I do have my eyes on some, but it would have to be a really good price for me to be able to um, afford it because he's very expensive, his broadcast cards are. So yeah, but that is it for this clip. Um, I will see you in the next one. Okay guys, we are back with a very short clip. Um, this is the last thing that I'm gonna be receiving in the mail this month. And so I just wanted to add it into the video. Um, this is a purchase from Instagram. Um, I am going shopping this weekend, so that will probably be the last bit of stuff that I include in my um, collective haul, but this is the last like trade or sale from Instagram. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna have to slice this open. I'm really bad with <laughs> washi tape so I always have to like slice and dice things open um but I don't hate the use of the washi tape I'm just not good at touching it how cute it has penguins on it and then it says thank you so much for buying hope Mano gets to you safely please let me know when this arrives beware of skiz uh Oh, and that's super cute. Um, I have bought from this person on, well, bought and traded with this person before um, on Instagram. Really great person to deal with. So, oh, and they host goes for skiz. So check them out for sure. Um, got some freebies. Wow, this is a nice little freebie here cutie pie cute and some stickers love that and then the actual item that I um, bought from them uh, now I joined a go for the other the rest of my bias line members um, but Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. <laughs> but they have not arrived yet. So this is the first. This is, if I can finish getting all the tape off. This is Lino's um, MMT video call photo card from Rockstar. He looks super cute. Love it, loves it, loves it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll be getting the other members in a group order, so you'll see that eventually. Uh, but his is the first to arrive, and I really love it. So yeah, uh, check out Beware of Skiz on Instagram. They have a lot of great stuff, not just Stray Kids related. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much. Uh, that is it for this clip. Like I said, it was just a short one because I got this in the mail today. Um, and hopefully I will be opening more stuff this weekend for the end of my January collective haul. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, everyone, we are back with an unexpected opening in this collective haul. Um, this right here, I was not expecting to get before I um uploaded this video uh, but it um arrived yesterday and i was out of town um uh, with some friends and so i actually didn't get it in out of the mailbox until today uh but i'm super excited um this right here actually is not you know a photo card or anything like that but it's more so in relation to my um to like my um collecting supplies um so um if you've seen my like my flip through of my photo card collection uh, you may have noticed for my Stray Kids stuff, I had custom photo card fillers for 
Kenjin. Um, and those were done by an account on Instagram and TikTok. Meg Nar on um, TikTok and then Mars K-Pop on um, Instagram. Uh, I saw uh, them first on TikTok um, and then followed them on Instagram and commissioned my first custom fillers uh, a few months ago. And then she just opened up more fillers and for the new year and I got me some new Hyunjin ones. And so I just got them in the mail, but yeah, this cute little thank you note. She does have stuff on Etsy, not just like custom stuff. She has lots of cute um, fillers. Like these are some examples of like pre-made fillers that she has. Um, and you can do it for any group, not just stray kids, but um, yeah, amazing to work with. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting fillers. OMG. <laughs> cute and um this is really cute and once you see my fillers you're gonna be like how fitting is that um but yeah you can send a photo for these fillers the way it works is you just kind of pick a photo pick a theme she has several different themes that she uh does you can pick it and you pick your photo and then you can pick a color that you kind of want the vibe also of your fillers to be and she just goes from there. She also does uh, mailing stickers. These are some examples. She just sent them as freebies. These are two Hyunjin ones. Um, so she does custom mailing stickers as well. Um, like I said, she's awesome. I highly recommend. I think it's so cool to get custom fillers for your collection. I adore having my Hyunjin ones, and which is why I got more, because I just wanted a kind of a new vibe for them. So anyways, uh, these are the fillers. Uh, this is kind of like what the back of them look. It looks like Mars K-pop. It has her at, and then the front. This is what they look like. And it's, you can select album, pop, lucky draw, other, and then, yeah. I kind of gave her free reigns. I was like, you can honestly pick any vibe, whatever. I just want this photo. I want it to kind of be blue. And she took the reins and yeah. And as you can kind of see, they are shiny. These are laminated, so I can go in with a marker. Like, I'll give you an example. To say I'm needing to put in this this filler in my binder, I can just go in and do rock star and then, you know, the store and it's a pop and just slide this in my binder. Whenever I'm done and I get this photo card, I can simply just go in and erase it and it's good as new. Nice, simple, and easy. Um, for comparison, to see different ideas of what um, she does, here are my original fillers that I got from them. Um, you can customize, like I wanted all of this stuff written on the bottom of the card. So that's why that's like that. For this one, I just did purchased on the way in the album and the PC name. Um, and then you very tiny her at because she did not at the time do the backs of the cards. I like that the backs are now decorated. That adds a, I don't know, makes it even nicer than it already was. Uh, but these are also laminated and I love them because you can reuse them. But there's two different examples, both Hyunjin. Um, see why that freebie was so fitting. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that is what I got from them. Uh, you, I got, they come in like packs of 26. You can do it different ways. You can get it laminated so you can reuse them. You can get them not laminated. Um, and that's also an option. I always recommend laminated because I'm like, if you're going to get them printed and actually printed by them and sent to you, um, I think it's cool to be able to reuse them. Um, you can also buy just the digital file of it. So they design it and then you can print them off yourself. 
I, however, am lazy. I want them to print them, laminate them, and I can reuse them. It's a done deal. I don't have to do it myself. So yeah, if you're interested, please, please, please check out um, Mars K-pop on Instagram, or you can check out the TikTok or her Etsy shop. Super amazing. I love these fillers. I think they add such a cool look to my binders. And um, yeah, maybe one day I'll eventually do more fillers. Right now, since I really like all my heavy collectings with Hyunjin and Stray Kids, I just make Hyunjin fillers. But um, who knows? I may add another idol sometime soon. But that is it for this little short unboxing clip. I am so excited to finally have these and add these to my binder. Um, but yeah. Um, that is all. I will see you in the next and very last clip for this collective haul. <laughs> all right, guys, we are back with the very last clip that I am going to include in this collective haul. If you have made it this far in the video, <laughs> you did awesome. Thank you so much. I know this is a longer one. January was a huge month, which is why it was kind of split into two collective hauls because I got a lot of stuff in. Um, and did a lot more shopping than I normally do. So, um, yeah, um, I went shopping with some friends. It was my friend's birthday. Um, and so we went and celebrated by buying K-pop albums. Um, and it was also 127 day. So yay. <laughs> um, anyways, um, I'll, I'm going to start with the smaller items that I got first, which is just photo cards. Um, I went to one shop and they gave me some freebie cards for, um, I guess, buying a certain amount of things. I didn't get to pick what group or anything like that. Um, so I got a TXT card and a Kepler card. I got this uh, Taeyeon. I don't know like what this is from. Like I know the album obviously, but I don't know if this is an album card or if it's a pop. I have no idea. Unfortunately, I don't collect TXT, so I don't really know much about this. And then same thing for Kepler, except for this. I don't even know. <laughs> I know it's from Troubleshooter. I do not know the member. Um, so feel free to let me know who this is. She is very beautiful, um, but I have no idea who she is. Um, but super cute cards. I like getting freebies, even if they're from groups that I don't collect. I, I don't mind that. Um, and then... I had uh, my one friend, she bought a favorite, um, an NCT 127 favorite album, and she pulled this Jungwoo, and she already has this card, um, and so I traded her a photo card of mine uh, to get him, because even though I don't collect Jungwoo, <laughs> this card is so stinking cute, I just was like, um, I will trade you anything that I have if you will give me this card, so she did. And I really am obsessed with it. Then I corrected a mistake. So in one of the previous clips in this video, you saw that I bought a Felix card. A Felix pop from Rockstar that I bought was a uh, was Blue Dream Media. It was this PC right here. Um, and this actually <laughs> was a duplicate of a card that I already have um, in its JYP shop. So yesterday when I went shopping, I saw this photo card and I was like oh my goodness it's so cute I need it because I've been looking for his blue dream media and I was like oh I have PTSD for buying the wrong card so I stood in the store and looked at my template just to make sure I was buying the correct one and but look how similar these are literally the head turned the opposite way and maybe the lighting difference is about it but even the backs look almost like identical but anyways this is the one that's the duplicate and then I picked this one up yesterday this is his blue dream media I even though it looks like the JYP one I still love it he looks adorable um, but yeah and then my local k-pop shop had these auditory lucky draws um, they have had them for a long time, but they like normally only have like one of each member or, um, 
only one member, not like a bunch of members. And then for some reason, they recently like, I guess they just hold stock for special occasions and then randomly drop them like certain amounts at a time. That's my only assumption as to how they keep like dropping these because they don't drop a lot of the time. But uh, they had Felix's set still there and I was like, let me snack those really quick. So I got both of Felix's and now all I need is Han's because as y'all also saw in this clip, I just recently got Hyunjin's in the mail. So, um, got that. Um, that is it for smaller items. I also picked up this, um, uh, G-Idol, um, uh, heat, uh, I guess, digipack. I guess this is what this is called. I don't normally buy girl group albums, but I do, I love listening to girl groups. And so, um, I've decided this year I'm going to try to buy more girl group albums. And so I picked this one up yesterday. This is Heat. I got Minnie's version because she's one of my biases from G Idol. And it's really cute. I didn't even know what like the inclusions were or anything like that. Um, I just knew that I uh, wanted this. Uh, but I got Mion's um, photo card. She's so cute. And then I also got another girl group album. I got this Itzy Kill My Doubt. Itzy is one of my top girl groups that I like. Um, I absolutely adore them. Um, my biases are Yeji and Rujin. Um, and yeah. And when you see my pulls, you're going to be like, wow, her biases. Oh, hey, Yuna. Her biases picked this album out for her or packed this album for her. So I got this like absolutely beautiful Yeji photo card. Like stunning. She's gorgeous. Then I got the Yeji like bookmark, I assume. I got Rujin's little boxer photo card. And then I got this Yeji as well. Also super adorable photo by Yuna. And all of that was in that album. So super cute. This also came in it. A picture of all of them. Love them. I really miss Leah. I hope she's doing okay. <laughs> then my last girl group thing that I picked up yesterday was this in mix like key, fluffy keychain little helper keychain version I don't even know the version I just saw it and I was like and I think it's the limited version but this is just the cutest stinking thing ever and even like the inside of the box as you can tell is like super cute but it does come with this keychain in each version I got the one with the blue one he's it's so cute um, and fluffy and I don't know, just interesting. Uh, but that's what that looks like. This came with a full set a, of photo cards of each member. It's Lily. Uh, she's so cute. And then Heywon. Also super cute. I think MX is just the cutest. And then Suyun. Bay. Her makeup's really pretty in this. Oh, I thought I had, was missing one. <laughs> uh, do you? And Gujin. Super cute. It also came with um, all of these postcards. If y'all are curious, like a lot of postcards. But yeah, tons and tons of postcards. <laughs> I will not go through all of them to save time. Next, 
we're getting into the boy group albums that I got, I picked up another version of Melting Point from Zero Base One. Um, earlier in this um, collective haul, you saw that I picked up the, um, what's it called? Um, loyalty. Sorry, I did look up kind of a template um, because I didn't know the members that I had pulled originally. Well, I knew some of them, but not all of them. And so I went ahead and looked them up. Um, so that was a loyalty version. This is, I believe, the fairy tale version. I would assume the white gives off fairy tale vibes, but yeah, it came with another keychain. It came with two photo cards. Um, it came with the same member. I don't think it was supposed to come with the same member unless I'm wrong, but I got the same exact member, just different, um, versions of it. And I got Gunnook. He's so cute. I love his signature too, but that's what the back look like. Um, and then I also got, um, in this version, it came with like a member postcard. Um, and I got Tay Ray. I assume it's Tay Ray only because this is Tay Ray and they look to be the same exact person. If I'm wrong, uh, please feel free to correct me in the template that I got. I, it doesn't have the postcard, so I can't really look it up. Um, but yeah, and this is Tay Ray also. Um, and then yeah, the poster for this is beautiful. I'm gonna try to show it on camera. It may be too big. I may have to like zoom up, but it's literally adorable. Love it. Um, I am still trying to get all the other versions. I'm just missing one from Melting Point at this time, but um, yeah. Then, of course, I picked up some 80s. <laughs> Got, this is the last version of Fever Part 3 that I needed. Um, and I pulled, oh my goodness, Sonny and Jungle. I swear, uh, Jungle loves me because I feel like I pull him. I feel like I pull him every single album that I get. I, not hating. Um, I, that's just how I feel. But, yeah. Um, and then I got postcards also. Let me pull those out. I love that these versions come with postcards, by the way. Like, I'm obsessed with them. Can't wait to store them away and be able to look at them. Let me zoom out so y'all can see these better. super cute. I then picked up this version of Fever Part 2. I already have this um, album, but just a different version of it. I could have swore this came with two photo cards. I could be wrong because uh, I have been buying a lot of 80s albums um, recently, but this one only came with one. I got Yo Song. Um, super adorable. Um, really like it. Um, and then it also has postcards. And these postcards are also just like, these are just to die for. Like, Hongjoon looks incredible. The only bad thing about Fever Part 2 is the fact that Mengi's not there. And it's really sad. But, um, I guess they did fire concepts for this album just to make up for the fact that we're all sad about Mengi. But, uh, why is the group one randomly after Hongjoon? <laughs> Anyways, um... This is out of order because there is Jong Ho, Oh Young, and he looks amazing. Sun, Yo Song, uh, he looks incredible. You know, and Sung Wa. Interesting, the order that those were in. But that was that. And then finally, like I said, yesterday was one two seven day. So I had to get a 127 album to commemorate 127 Day. I let my friend, whose birthday it was, I let her actually pick out the album that I bought. And she picked out those two baddies. Um, for NCT 127, uh, my biases or my bias line is Mark, Johnny, and Taeyong. And when you see my pulls, <laughs> you're going to be like, wow. It's like they packed her 
album for her. Starting off, though, I got these stickers and... Johnny, are you kidding me? <laughs> then I got Mark's postcard. And then I got Taeyong and this Johnny. <laughs> I was like, whoa. My bias line really did not mess around. That is all that I got um, yesterday while shopping for my friend's birthday. I'm really happy I was able to get uh, some of the pulls that I got and I thought it was so fun buying albums for groups. Like as y'all saw, I didn't buy any stray kids yesterday. That was so random, but, um, it was fun getting to, um, get PCs and albums for groups that I don't like fully collect, even though I do collect ATs. Um, I didn't buy a lot of theirs yesterday, but, um, I think it's fun seeing what pulls I get and seeing photo cards and albums for groups that I don't necessarily collect. It was fun. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of this collective haul. I'm going to end it on this shopping spree of mine. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you saw maybe something you liked or an album you need to pick up because of the inclusions exhibit a um and um let me know down below if first of all you know who this is because i would love to know um and then also if you saw something that you like um or there's an album that has awesome inclusions like the inmix one or the cute ones like itsy uh feel free to recommend anything down below i'm always open to buying something um but yeah that is all for this collective haul video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.